Measure and mark HMR with width 300 millimeters. I cut HMR based on the mark using my DIY rip cut jig. Then, I cut HMR smaller using my DIY Ultimate Track Saw. Cut two pieces HMR with width 45mm. Make another cut with width 55mm. Measure mini T-Track using vernier caliper. Use mini T-Track as a template on the cut made before. Cut the mark made from mini T-Track using table saw. Assemble two cuts of HMR before using glue. After the glue dry, screw mini T-Track on the HMR. Take the rest HMR from the cutting before, then cut with length 900mm. Take the HMR cut with T-Track on it, and put it on the right side and left side. Use it as a template to make slot. I set my trim router with height 3mm. Then, make slot based on the mark made before. Cut the HMR cut with T-Track on it, and try it on the slot. Check using angle ruler and make sure the angle is 90 degrees. I will add long mini T-Track on the base. Measure and mark to make slot for placing long mini T-Track. I use my router to make slot.
glue and use nail gun to assemble HMR cut with T-Track on it. Always check and make sure if the angle is 90 degrees. Use epoxy glue to assemble long mini T-Track on the base. Measure the base. Put aluminum L shape 1 times 3. Measure and mark the aluminum. Then, cut it. Put metal square 2 times 2. Measure and mark, then cut it. Give mark on square metal to add hole. Drill the mark using drill bit 8 millimeters. Do the sum on the other side. Use epoxy glue to assemble aluminum L shape and metal square. I will use M8 bolt for the mini T-Track, but it doesn't fit. I cut and grinder the head of M8 bolt. Now it can be fitted into the mini T-Track. Measure HMR with length 400 millimeters. Then cut HMR with width 40 millimeters. Assemble all cut together to make fence. Cut HMR with size 20 millimeters times 130 millimeters. Take the fence, then put it at the crosscut sled. Use glue and nail gun to assemble the fence. Then, mark for making hole. Put back the fence on the position. Drill the base according to the hole on the fence. Add T-nut on the base. Use clamp and pan head bolt for locking the fence on the position. Put circular saw on the aluminum rail. Then, cut the front fence for guidelines. I use vinyl sticker on the fence.
sander the aluminum rail for smooth surface. Then, I give wax on the aluminum rail and the HMR also. I put my circular saw. I try to shove it, it really smooth and slight. Now I try to cut MDF 18 millimeters. Use hold down clamp for easy cut. Then, I cut MDF using circular saw. The result is very precision and perfect square. I put my jigsaw on the aluminum rail. I set up the width of aluminum so it can be fitted with the jigsaw. Now, I try to cut MDF 18 millimeters. Then, I cut using jigsaw. The result is good and perfect square. Now, I put my router on the aluminum rail. I will try to make slot on plywood. The result is not bad for the first trial. Now, I put my trim router on the aluminum rail. I will make slot on MDF. And the result looks good. <laughs>